Okay, so what we're doing here, folks, is determining the side little l. So we use sine law yet again to determine little l. We find out that once we set it up, that little l is equal to a value of nine point seven kilometers and the other one is three point seven kilometers three point seven is shorter that's the shorter side and then nine point seven kilometers is the longer side all right sometimes the triangle can't be constructed for an example if I give you a triangle and I give you angle A is equal to ninety eight degrees angle a, uh, sorry, side A is equal to 17 meters and side B is equal to 19 meters. You set up the test. You test the opposite side to the angle against all the other information to see if it rules. You find out very quickly that it's not possible. It is impossible to draw that side because look, the opposite side, 98 degrees, is a very, uh, is an obtuse angle. There can only be one obtuse angle in any triangle. 17 is opposite the 98. But look at the other side that's given. It's even larger than the 98 degrees. In a triangle, that is impossible. All right. We do the A minus B sine A test, and you find out that A minus B sine A is less than zero. So therefore, using even the law to tell you that it doesn't exist. The next part, triangle ABC, where angle A is 68, little a is 5, and side B is 12. We need to determine if this is okay. Well, Angle A is 68 degrees. Opposites, sorry, adjacent side is 12 kilometers. And then you have two opposite sides floating around on the bottom. And because they're two floating sides, we have two possible triangles. A minus B sine A was less than zero. Uh, sorry, we can't have two floating triangles. Ugh. Confusing folks. Basically, the reason is A minus B sine A is actually less than zero. And because it's less than zero, there are no triangles that can be drawn. All right, folks, your homework is 4.4. Get to it. Good luck. Have a numerical night.